Okay, hello. Today I'm going to be opening a Blick order that I ordered recently. And I am very excited, but if I sound a little like I'm not, it's because I got pretty bad migraine today. So, but yes. So, on to the opening. I was able to get a really, really, really good deal on the oil paints. So, if you've been wanting to try Michael Harding paint, because I know they're pretty expensive, I was able to get, let's see, that's what I'll open. Let's do that first. So, if you can get some of the lower series colors, you're gonna get, you know, the prices are gonna be relatively the same as other artist grade paint. I, I saw a lot of people complaining that they're too expensive, but maybe for colors like lapis lazuli, you know, genuine, which maybe I'm just too pleb to realize how valuable that really is, but I don't need that. I, I'm good with normal ultramarine blue, so. The $11 tubes ended up being eight something, like eight eighty nine, and the $16 tubes were like 13 and the most expensive one I had was the, uh, the magenta, and that one was $17, normally $22, so... If you're watching this around any time around August 2021, I was able to use the the honey coupon people. Oh, look at that. There's the first two. Pale violet. I was trying to get colors that I don't already have in Gamblin and trying to get colors that I'm excited about, you know, not necessarily just getting the normal ones like normal palette colors. And then we got the Caribbean turquoise. Really excited for that. I watched some some uh, mixing videos with, I think her name is Vicky. I can't remember her last name. She's an ambassador for Michael Harding and one of the mixing videos she was mixing with Caribbean turquoise. I did get a, a one watercolor from Daniel Smith, uh, Burnt Umber. So I, I got an order on my website with somebody that ordered burnt umber and I didn't have it on hand, so I had to rush order it. Next, we got oh, titanium white, number two. This is the one that I've heard is good for mixing. Uh, it's titanium dioxide PW6 in linseed oil. And there's that. And then we have Bright Yellow Lake, which is like a Hansa Yellow <clears throat> Medium, like Hansa Yellow Medium. And then we got, oh, here's the magenta. Wow. It looks really nice. I'm, I'm really excited. Next, we got... Yellow Lake, sorry, the other, the bright yellow lake is like Hans Yellow Light. So a cool yellow, and then the yellow lake is like the Hans Yellow Light. I wanted to get both because I saw really beautiful mixtures with the bright yellow lake. Like if you want to get some really bright green, some highlight colors. So I got that. Oh, permanent orange. Another one that I saw in a swatching video, I saw it with, uh, mixed with indigo, <clears throat> which I also got, and it made some really beautiful purples. I was like, man, I need those two. Oh, here we go, ultramarine blue. And next, we got... Italian green umber. 
I saw this um, being used to mix a lot of like earth greens, you know, for like landscapes. So I thought I'd get that one. Next three we got the Scarlet Lake. I was trying to get a warm red that's not cadmium because I, I really don't want to mess with cadmiums. I've had some health problems. And I just don't want to risk messing with cadmium. So an alternative to that, or one of the alternatives would be the Scarlet Lake. So I got that for the warm red. Oh, permanent green light. I think I saw this in one of the mixing videos too. And I really wanted to mix it with the pale violet and make just some, I really like making paintings with limited palettes of just, you know, interesting colors. And here's the end, no, nope, just kidding. I thought it was the indigo. It's the thalo blue. I've been making, making a lot of paintings with uh, thalo blue and naphthal red, but I already have naphthal red in Gamblin, so I got the Scarlet Lake instead. So I'm gonna try to, these two together, make a really beautiful, rich, dark blue that it's just really nice. I paint a lot of, you know, birds with it, of course. Here we go, here's the indigo. Wow. Looks very nice. And next, warm white. I saw a lot of people talking about using a warm white for mixing, especially like when doing maybe like, especially portraits, you know, because skin tone is warm. So I thought I was, I thought I would try, see what that's like mixing with a warm white. And, oh, fine black. I really like uh, PBK11. I, I like it a lot in watercolor. It's lunar black. It's really granulating and just it's different. And ivory black has that problem of drying slow sometimes and having a weird smell. So, I thought I would try Vine Black and Oil. And now I'm, I'm gonna move these over a little bit. The tubes look really nice. I wonder if that's actual swatches on there. It looks like it, it's textured like it, but maybe it's just tricking me, I don't know. So next, oh. I had originally, so here we go. I really wanted this. It's the Michael Harding non-absorbent acrylic primer. So I've, I've been painting a lot on canvases and I knew it was gonna happen, but it's been happening pretty bad where the, uh, the primer just like sucks the oil out of the painting and really dulls it down. And I know you can varnish it but I would just like to try to prevent that before it happens. So I am gonna try this stuff. I originally had the one liter mm, container and it was like 26 bucks. And then somehow part of the coupon, like I waited a couple days and part of the coupon changed and it went back to 40 bucks. And I was like, Ugh, I don't think I need to spend that much on it. <laughs> for now. Next thing that I've really been wanting to try, or in general, I've been really wanting to try uh, like artist grade crowns. Um, and I have a couple of the Karen Dash ones. Uh, I haven't used it too much, but I saw these and of course I saw them through scroller box and I was like, I really liked how like they seem to be really soft, uh, like really blendable, really soft. You can work with them, they say for about 24 hours and then they set. And I really like how thick they are. I've been wanting to do some bigger work. So I got the, let's see, this is the blue ocean set. So this one has, oh, there we go. 
Sky Blue, Gentian, I'm sure I'm probably saying that wrong, Lavender, and Plum. And I got the Essential Set. And that one is Rose Beige, Cocoa, White, and Black. It was cheaper to get them in these sets, so I got them that way for starters. Then this is the Green Jungle set. And it's got Sunshine Yellow, Kiwi, Apple, and Aqua Green. Um, then I got one more. It's the Lovely Red set. And we got Orange. What was I say? Pepperoni chili. Oh, I think I'm only supposed to say one. Pomegranate <laughs> and rose pink. And these did not the qual the qualify. The coupon didn't help at all with these, but they were eight something. So cheaper to get in little sets, and I figured I'd get enough to be able to try it out. I just realized they got a little bird on the essential set. <laughs> okay, and it looks like, ooh, it looks like I got some kind of little, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. A little sample. What do, what do I got? A little sample set. Oh, and it's the colors that I ordered, but I'm not gonna complain, it was free. Yellow Lake, Ultramarine Blue, Warm White, and Scarlet Lake. I know they've, I know that they give samples out to people sometimes. Not Blick, but I've heard Michael Harding does. Wow, I definitely didn't expect that. That that's actually really nice. I wish I knew somebody personally that likes to oil paint. Most of the people I know like to watercolor. Maybe I can try to find somebody that would be excited to have that since I have so much of that already. Okay, well, anyways, that's, that's my Blick haul and I do appreciate that they sent, you know, this time they sent it in a box so thank you Blick much appreciated and thank you for watching and if you did enjoy it please subscribe and like as it helps me with the algorithm so see you next time